You're watching PNN, the Parody News Network. Hello and welcome to PNN. I'm Tim Taylor. We have breaking news at the top of the hour. Charlie Calvin, son of Scott Calvin, a.k.a. Santa Claus, has been convicted of attempted murder of his father. For more on this story, let's go to senior news correspondent Judy Jingles. Judy. Thank you, Tim. As you can see, I'm standing outside of the prison where Charlie Calvin will likely live out the rest of his days. Now, prison officials have arranged a live feed for us so we can conduct an exclusive interview. So let's go to that now. Charlie, are you there? Where else would I be? Charlie, how does it feel now that the trial is over? Not as good as it felt when you visited my cell last week, Judy. I don't know what you're talking about, Charlie. I've never visited your cell. Oh, come on. Don't you remember when you delivered my present to me? <laughs> so, how have you been acclimating to prison? Oh, I see. You're gonna play a little hard to get. Okay. Well, how do you think I've been acclimating? There are no elves here doing what I say. No one is making me hot chocolate when I demand it. There's no Christmas cheer. But despite all these hardships, you helped me get acclimated with your Mrs. Claus outfit. But I did, um, oh, that old thing. I wasn't sure if you'd like it. I was debating between that outfit and my elf costume. Um, excuse me, Judy. Yes? Are you insinuating that you've had intimate relations with convicted prisoner Charlie Calvin? No, no, it was just, it was a joke. I was joking. Attempted murder is nothing to joke about. Okay, fine, sorry. All right, back to the matter at hand. Charlie, everyone wants to know more details about why you attempted to murder your father the beloved Santa Claus. Well, I wanted to be a part of the family business. And according to the Claus contract, drafted by the elves in the North Pole, putting on the suit and entering the sleigh, the wearer waives any and all rights to any previous identity, real or implied, and fully accepts the duties and responsibilities of Santa Claus in perpetuity until such time the wearer becomes unable to do by either accident or design. Yes, we're familiar with the legalities of the Claus, Charlie. So you see, if I killed my dad, I would become Santa Claus. But it's your father. What was it? A bad childhood? Well, before he became Santa Claus, he worked all the time and wasn't his top priority. One year, he took me to Denny's for Christmas Eve dinner, where they were all out of pretty much everything, including my favorite drink, chocolate milk. And then, he wouldn't finish reading the night before Christmas. So, you're telling me that you attempted to murder Santa Claus because they were out of chocolate milk at Denny's. Well, that wasn't the only reason, Judy. I just really wanted to be the reason people were so excited about the Christmas season. My dad always had the spotlight, and I wanted to be Santa Claus. It was my time to shine, and frankly, I thought it would impress you. Well, I've always had a thing for jolly men who like to show me with presents. <laughs> Hey! Sorry, Tim. What? I think you'd better wrap this up. Now. Yes. Right. Of course. Hey, Judy. Bring me some milk and cookies and uh, wear your elf costume next time you come by. What kind of cookies, my little Christmas star? Hey! Oh, give it a rest, Tim. Chocolate chip, of course. Such a sweet, sweet man. Back to you, Tim. Judy, you and I need to have a nice, long talk. In the meantime, stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. You've been watching PNN, the Parody News Network. Oh, ho, ho!